You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. And strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and we shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not to call the leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but the leaven bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Yet no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, and the life to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man and his was raised from the dead. For as in Adam all died, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. Psalm 119 from verse 49 together. It's on page 767. Remember your word to your servant, because you have given me hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that you promised to give me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of all, Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been songs to me, wherever I have lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me, because I have kept your commandments. You are more on a portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet toward your retreat. Listen, you will not tarry. Keep your commandments, though the cross of the wicked is done with me, and do not forget your law. At midnight, I promise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments, and the companion of all who fear you, and of those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your love. Instruct me in your statutes. O Lord, we have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word. Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I have believed in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good, and you bring forth good. Instruct me in your statutes. The proud has feared me with my eyes, and I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Your heart is gross and fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. And I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than the houses of gold and silver. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 33. The Lord said to Moses, Go, leave this place, you and the people whom you have brought out, up out of the land of Egypt, and go to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants I will give it. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Hevites and the Jebusites. Go up to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, or I will consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the people heard these harsh words, they mourned, and no one put on ornaments. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to Israelites, You are a stiff-necked people. If for a single moment I should go up among you, I would consume you. So now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do to you. Therefore the Israelites stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onwards. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of the meeting. And everyone who saw the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them, at the entrance of their tents and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of the cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the, the tent. And the Lord would speak to with Moses. When all the people saw the pillow of the cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them, at the entrance of the tent. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp. But his young assistant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent, Moses says to the Lord, See, you have said to me, Bring up these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now if I have found favor in your sight, show me your ways, so that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider too, that this nation is your people, he said. My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go, do not carry us up from there. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? In this way we shall be distinct. I and your people, from every people on the face of the earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you the name the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, see, there is a place by me where you shall stand on a rock, and while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft on a rock and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Canticle 11. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. 
For behold, who darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. And nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be a bird in your land, ruin of destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, and by night you will not be the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A, a lesson from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5. Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised us for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins and the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, he is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of our sin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. In greatness of salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Make your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can be with Lord, Keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God.
O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the mind of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us by each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Today we lift up the Diocese of Leafield in England. In our Diocese and Prayer Cycle, we pray for Emmanuel Church in Memphis and Good Samaritan Outreach. We also pray for one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church in the world. May she be one, may she be protected from the attacks of the enemy. We pray for the church leaders, for the lay people serving that Lord, they may be strengthened by you, may your Holy Spirit continue to lead them. We also pray for the Episcopal Church, our own Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Diocese and Leadership, and our own parish, our staff, the priests, all the areas of life of our parish, Pray for volunteers, for uh, that they will be given strength and courage in all that they do in serving. We pray that you continue to increase the thirst for for you in our lives. We pray, O oh God, for those amongst us that are sick and not well. I pray that you, your healing hand may be extended upon them and you be and heal them. Father, we also lift up those amongst us who are having <clears throat> quite a difficulties in one area or another. I pray, O oh Lord, that you provide a solution for them. We pray specifically for those who are really desperate that, O oh God, you touch them today. May they see a sign that you are touching their families and, and that their, their anxiety and whatever is the problem, Lord, goes away. Continue to build us in our lives, allow us to learn how to repent and convert, and every moment in our lives to be given out to you. We may add in the sessions of Thanksgiving at this time. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn to page 
361. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Also, also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give the thanks to Christ. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining all voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and mind, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin, and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature and to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts, sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And on the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. And all this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom and power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in the remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness the singleness of God. Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.